Hi friends, welcome to RLC. In this session, let's discuss DFT as a linear transformation. Before that, let's define DFT and IDFT equations. DFT, discrete Fourier transform. The discrete Fourier transform of a sequence, say, x of n is a sequence. x of n is obtained by sampling a DTFT signal. That is, sampling a discrete time Fourier transform signal. If x of n is a sequence, then discrete Fourier transform of x of n is x of k. x of k is called the discrete Fourier transform of the sequence given by x of k is equal to summation n ranging from 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e power minus j 2 pi k n by n where capital N represents an endpoint DFT it is in a uh, total number of samples that is n number of samples and k ranges from 0 to n minus 1 this is the k range that is k is from 0, 1, 2, so on up to n minus 1. Total n number of samples. The discrete time Fourier transform is also given by x of k is equal to summation n ranging from 0 to n minus 1 x of n into w capital W n k n where w n is called twiddle factor given by e power minus j 2 pi by n it is called the twiddle factor also phase factor twiddle factor and also called as phase factor Next, we have inverse discrete Fourier transform given by IDFT. IDFT is the process of reconstructing the signals from Fourier spectrum, that is, reconstructing x of n. IDFT of x of k. x of k is the spectrum. We need to reconstruct the signals, that is, x of n. So, inverse discrete Fourier transform is performed to get back x of n given by x of n is equal to 1 by n summation k ranging from 0 to n minus 1 x of k into e power j 2 pi k n by n where capital N represents an endpoint sample and N ranges from N ranges from 0 to N minus 1 that is N is equal to 0, 1 so on up to N minus 1 samples X of N can also be represented as inverse IDFT X of N can also be represented as 1 over N summation K ranging from 0 to N minus 1 x of k into w n to the power of minus k n where w n is called as the twiddle factor next let's define twiddle factor also called as phase factor twiddle factor is given by capital w for an n point w n is equal to e power minus j 2 pi by n hence w n to the power of k n is given as e power minus j 2 pi by n into k n similarly w n to the power of minus k n is equal to e power minus j 2 pi by n into minus k n so it can be written as e power plus j 2 pi by n 
kn therefore an endpoint dft can be represented as dft an endpoint dft is given by x of k is equal to summation n ranging from 0 to capital n minus 1 x of n into w n k n where k ranges from 0 to n minus 1 Similarly, IDFT is given by x of n is equal to 1 over n summation k ranging from 0 to n minus 1 x of k into w n to the power of minus k n n ranging from 0 to n minus 1. Hi guys, if you have enjoyed the learning, subscribe to our channel and share to your all friends and well wishers. For regular updates, connect us on social media. Thank you for watching the video.